Hey everyone, this is Andrea. Um, just want to show you real quick how to improve um, a spreadsheet from here. So this one is a Smart Goal spreadsheet. You're going to download this here. And you're going to make a copy that's in the vault. Um, and then here you have um, goals, inspiration, success, metrics, action, tasks, right? And then there's a due date. I want to make this even more fun so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna insert one column to the right now here you can see that this um, this merged thing continued the pattern so nothing to change here and then here I want to count the days left if you notice here on column F you will see that the format in here is date all I did was changing uh, how it was displaying on the cell because I wanted to show the date of the day of the week, uh, the month, the day, and the year. So, but the main, the most important thing here is to notice that the cell is formatted as um, date. The date is valid. Uh, so then we're gonna go here. I want to count how many days uh, I have until my due date. So. I'm just going to do this, so equal this and then minus today. Now you will notice that because you, you uh, inserted a new column from this one, the formatting of the cells are going to be the same. So what are you going to do? You're going to copy this, I um, mean you're going to select this, go to format number and put automatic and now you see that there is, oh, and then you see this here too, it says input must be a valid date, and that because this one, uh, there's the selection, uh, so you can double click and open a calendar. I want to remove that, so I'm just gonna select this, go to data, data validation. Now I'm gonna look for the one that is pulling the date is valid. So this one, just click here, and then open this here, it says select data range. So just open this. I only want that to be applied to column F and not column G. Because I added this will, you know, will add automatically. So just change all this to F. No need to delete anything. Just change it here and click OK. Now you can see that the red symbol disappeared. And then just click Done. You can close that. Um, now you can see here that this days left, right? Because September has been uh, six days ago. If I put a date um, like here, I still have two days left to October, and we can reduce this a bit. So it's going to be like, there we go. So it's somewhat um, aligned with this. Okay. Now, um, here, so, okay, so October 5, there's two days left, right? But like you saw here, if I selected any date before this, it's going to be showing negative. And even if you click complete, it will still be showing negative. And when you come back tomorrow, it's going to be minus 15. When you come back the next day, it's going to be minus 16. So, I don't want this. Uh, what I'm going to do, oh, and also, if I click this and drag the cell down, right, because I want to do this, you will see here that this is going to be showing negative this because it's when the when the cell is empty, it pulls like a random date from like, I don't know, 1980 something or 1990 something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so you don't want this showing. So first thing that we're going to do, we're going to um, avoid this. We're going to do equal if and I'm just adding two because I'm closing this one. I'm wrapping this up in here. And then so if um, this cell equals empty, then I want it to return empty. If not, I want this one. And come over here and close this. Now, let's move this here. Make sure it's pulling up. It's not, oh, not E. I'm sorry. Let's do F. If F is empty, we 
because you want this if there's no due date then I want to show nothing on the days left now you're gonna click and drag you can see the formula is still there but now you're not getting those random numbers right um, and last but not least I want uh, when I click complete I want this to show something else um, instead of uh, the date the days left uh, or the negative right so when you click, click complete I want this to show you can say either done or you can say um, I don't know zero right there is zero days left you can like zero it out so I'm gonna go in here so I have I'm gonna use another if um, condition so if this is empty then it's gonna be empty that's the first condition that I want the formula to check now my second condition before doing this, I want to say if, and then I'm gonna say uh, H, I can click in here, but it's H8, I believe. You can click like at the bottom, oops, the bottom one, and then it's changing here. So that would be H9 actually. So if H9 equals true, because the, checks, the checkbox value is true or false, then I want it to say done. If not, it's going to be F9. So it's going to calculate the formula. So first condition is if the date here is empty, I want it to be empty. And then the formula ends there. If not, they're going to check if this is, um, if the checkbox is checked. If it is, then it's going to say done and the formula will end there. If not, if it's not checked, then it's going to calculate how many days left I have. So just click enter. And now when you click here, it changes to done. Now you can change this to be zero. <coughs> if you just want to zero out. Uh, so whatever it is that you want to do, just click and drag it down so you can copy. Uh, so that then whenever you enter a date in here, oops, put something in the future now so you still have 22 days left when you come back tomorrow this is going to count down it's going to be 21 days and so forth and so on um, and then if you click here this is going to zero out because there's no more you know you're completed there's nothing else to do in here now last but not least just make sure you caption all of this right Oop, not here. Wrong one. And then last but not least, you're gonna copy this out because these are not uh, absolute. <clears throat> you didn't lock them with the dollar sign. We can go ahead and just control C the whole thing. And once you control V here, when you click in here, you will see that it is adjusted to these cells right here. So you're good to go, just go ahead and paste, paste, and paste. Now everything has, so if you put a date in here, everything is done. Hope this video was helpful. Uh, let me know if you liked it, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.